गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर बी एन दस शेयर यस ब्रेकिंग न्यूज या इसराइली प्राइम मिनिस्टर बेंजामिन नेतानाउ हैज टोल्ड द कंट्रीज मिलिटरी टू कंटिन्यू फाइटिंग विथ फुल फोर्स अगेंस्ट द आर्म ग्रुप हिजबुल्ला डिस्पाइट कॉल्स फ्रॉम द यूएस एंड अदर एलाइज फॉर सिस बार लेबनन हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री सेड एटलीस्ट नाइन्टी टू पीपल वर किड इन इसराइल या स्ट्राइक्स ऑन थर्सडे विथ हंड्रेड्स मोर किल सिंस द स्ट्राइक्स एस्कलेटेड ऑन मंडे Hezbollah has confirmed that an air strike on an apartment building in the south of Beirut killed the head of its drone unit Mahmoud Sudur. Fears of an all-out war between Israel and Hezbollah are at a high after a dramatic escalation in Israeli strikes on Lebanon since Monday. The increase in hostilities prompted a 12 strong bloc including the US UK and European Union to propose a 3 week ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah on Wednesday the proposal was initially made the hope after the Israeli ambassador to the UN Danny Danon said his country was open to ideas but by Thursday it has been roundly rejected by Israeli politicians landing in New York for the UN General Assembly Mr Netanyahu said Israel would not stop in Lebanon until it reached all of its goal chief among them the return of the residents of the north securely to their homes the white house later said the ceasefire proposal had been coordinated with israel despite mr netanyahu's assertion just hours later that his country would continue fighting speaking in new york uk prime minister said Keir Starmer called for an immediate ceasefire to provide space for a diplomatic settlement to resolve the conflict in Lebanon. He said the conflict could spill over into war no one can control. Around 70,000 Israelis have been displaced from the north of the country since hostilities between Israel and Hezbollah sparked by the war in Gaza began nearly a year ago. In Lebanon around 90,000 people have been displaced since Monday adding to the One lakh ten thousand who had fled their homes already, according to the event. Through Thursday, the Israeli military said in struck Hezbollah targets in Lebanon south and in the Beka Valley in the country's east. It also struck infrastructure on the Lebanese-Syrian border, which it said was to cut weapons supplies to the group. Meanwhile, Hezbollah said it had fired 50 rockets towards the city of Kiryat Ata. and 80 missiles towards the city of Safed both in northern Israel the Israeli army said it intercepted a missile that was fired from Yemen after sirens and explosions were heard Israel's military chief lieutenant general Harji Khalbi said on Wednesday Israeli air strikes on Lebanon could pave the way for the IDF to enter enemy territory behind the exclusive report